Congratulations, Mr. P -P Potter. You completed the challenge. You collected all the challenge stars. 20 p points for Gryffindor. Now, hurry on to broomstick p practice. See, I'm Back still... in the Gryffindor common room, Harry, Ron, and Hermione talked about their exciting first days at Hogwarts. There was much talk about the break-in at Gringotts Wizard Bank. But there was little time to dwell on this, since Harry and his friends were expected at their flying lesson with Madame Weech. Yeah, I'm still a little torn on what kind of display to get. I am your instructor, Madam Hooch. For your first lesson, you will fly through these magic rings. Control your broom with the direction keys. Okay, I was never speed very good at this. Slow down keys adjust your flight speed. I'm not sure what my speed up and slow down keys are. Ready, Potter? On my whistle, then. All right, I need to check this. Speed up, R and F, or shift and alt. Interesting. I, think I would do that to space, but this doesn't allow, like, uh, double bindings. You can bind up to two keys for each, uh, you know, each thing, but you can't bind the same key to two abilities. All right. Oh, and it's inverted. Okay. So, yeah, this is your basic, like, uh, go through the, the loops type thing. But there is also a secret behind here. There are some beans and your second uh, card. There we go. So if we actually go into our folio magi, here we have Merlin, medieval, dates unknown, most famous wizard of all time, sometimes known as the Prince of Enchanters, advisor to the court of King Arthur. All right. Uh, let's go back down. Let's see how many of these we can get through. There we go. Now let's see how you do with smaller right. rings. So yeah, it's basically just get through as many rings as you can. You get extra points if you get all of them, I think. Which we're probably not going to do. Especially since, like, I am having a hard enough time controlling this let alone trying to, like, speed up. Let's add a bit of height. Yeah. The rings keep getting smaller, too. All right, come on. Now, there's a reason why it's teaching you this, because you actually get to play Quidditch in this game as well. And in order to get the snitch, you have to keep on its trail following rings like this. These rings should challenge you. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Smaller, smaller. There we go. Come on. There we go. I think purple is the smallest it can get. So I think, like, and there's Maybe another blue next or something. Times. I don't know. Maybe it's red. Maybe it's shifting to red. Or maybe this is already the smallest. I don't remember. It's been so long since I played this, and like I said, I'm not good enough. I don't think I've ever completed the full thing, especially trying to get the, the card as well. There we go. Let's Mark. Try it with yeah, red's rings. next. Oh, they're moving too. They're smaller and they're moving. Come on. There we go. Ah. Didn't quite get them all, but I did get a, do, a Potter, good amount. I shall award ten house points for your efforts. I also congratulate you for being the first student to find the secret room since 1867. From now on, you may practice flying at any time. You will find the option on the main menu. Time for your charms lesson now. Good day, Mr. Potter. Good day, Madam Hooch. So we get to learn our second spell now. Of course, we get to actually explore a little bit. And you can cast Flipendo on the suits of armor. And they will give you magic beans. I think there's a maximum number you can get from each one, though. Yeah, eventually, like, you can't do anything there. 
All right, so something I haven't talked about, though, is this game actually runs really, really well on Windows 10. There's just one little caveat. For some reason, it will only run if you have the cracked version. Like, you actually have to pirate the game in order to, to get it to run. I don't understand why this is, but that's the way it is for some ungodly reason. Now, before all of you start crying, piracy, piracy, why did you, why are you playing a pirated game? I do own a legitimate copy of this game. A, my mom got me a copy back when this first came out. And even though I don't have that original copy anymore, I did find another copy later on at Goodwill. So I do own a legitimate copy of this game. Have you met Hagrid? He's so large, I can scarcely see the top of his head. And yeah, you can talk to the other students too. Day. You too, sir. You're early for the lesson, Harry, but I'll teach you a new spell I've learned on my own. The spell I learned is Alahamora. It will open magically lock things, but don't get into any mischief. Oh, no, I wouldn't dream of it, Hermione. This is the symbol for Alahamora. When I stop, hold down the mouth button and make the same pattern. Then let go of the button. So yeah, there is a little bit of a cheat for this when you get to the bottom here. Use your directional keys, you know, your actual movement keys, and you can go in straight lines. It will have to be a little bit quicker. At 79%. That was good, but I know you could do even better. All right. Great, Harry. I'm sure Professor Flitwick would give you I just love the fact that, that Hermione is giving out house points You're here. It's like she's not a prefect. She can't dock house points, and she can't give them either. And yet, she's like, I'm sure the professor would uh, allow that, so let's do it. There we go. I, I went and tried to do it backwards again, because I screwed up on that really badly. But it was enough to pass on to the next one, just barely. That was I did better the first but I time know around. You do even better. That was really well done, Harry. Professor Flitwick would award you at least 10 house points. All right, we'll let's try this again. This. All right, so far that's better. There we go. I think that's a passing grade for that one. Oh, yes. Very nearly. So we get, finally get to go to the fourth test. That was brilliant, Harry. I have to do even better for that one, though. Please with that attempt, Harry. I'm sure he'd give you 15 house points. You're getting the hang of this. All right. We got to do 95% for this, and we may have already fucked up. I don't know. Yeah, no, we didn't make it. <laughs> Not even remotely close. 86%, not close enough. Oh well, that was a good try. So we got through three out of the four lessons that time. Now you try using Alamora. We still have a few minutes before the charms lesson. That door in front of you is magically locked. Cast Alhamora to open it. So yeah, they want you to go through that door. However, if I remember correctly. Aha! I was right. There's a secret here. Ooh. Yeah, you can use Alhamora on chests as well. Which gets you even more stuff. There we go. So we got more beans. All right. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. So yeah, I'm ignoring that book because that's actually the door for the charms lesson, if I remember correctly. Aha, there's another one here. There we go. So yeah, Hogwarts is filled with all sorts of secrets, just like Dumbledore said. So you really gotta search for them, too. Alright, perfect. Now, I heard a chocolate frog earlier when we were close to Hermione. I don't know where it is. Hello, Harry. Hello. Maybe it's beyond the, the door here. it. Now, can you find the two secrets in this room? Oh, I don't know, Hermione. I'm gonna try. There, I think, is one. And I can get 
Oh, there's the other one. All right. Was that the only, the only one from you? Oh, really? You only had the one? Okay. Well, here we get another chocolate frog card. The wizard card. You're a wizard card, Harry. Well, no, not, not yet. All right, let's take a look here. Folio Magi. Tilly Toke, 1903 to 1991. Awarded Order of Merlin First Class for saving lives during the Ilfracombe Incident of 1932, when a dragon swooped down on a beach full of sunbathers. Well, good for her. Alright, I still hear that chocolate frog. If you're done admiring yourself, Harry, take a look at that magical chest. And by the way, no, that's not the mirror of Vera said. All right. Oh, Hermione, you locked the door behind you. There's that chocolate frog. He's hiding behind the mirror. There we go. Now we're back at full health. And on to the next one. And there's another one there. So you have plenty of secrets. And we had the gold chest. Now we have an iron chest. With more beans. Beans, beans, the magical fruit. All right. So now we're done with the Alhamora tutorial. It's time to learn a new spell. Again. I think this one might be Wingardium Leviosa. Welcome, young wizards. I am Professor Flitwick, and today you will learn the levitation spell Wingardium Leviosa. Ha, <laughs> called it. Observe the correct Wingardium Leviosa symbol. When I stop... Oh, come on. That is not a swish and flick. Follow the pattern, it's supposed to be swish button. and flick. Remember, it's not Leviosa. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. I always hated this one. It's the straight lines, but they're at weird diagonals. All right. And remember, like I said, I'm left-handed, but using mouse with my right hand, so... I'm not as accurate as I could be if I were right-handed. Five points for Gryffindor. Let's continue with the lesson, Mr. Potter. All right. Let us continue. I had 80%. That's good for, like, three out of the four tests. But we got to get 95 on the last one in order to get them all. 84, so that's better. A dazzling effort, Mr. Potter. Ten points for Gryffindor. All right. Try going slightly faster this time. All right. Trying to go slightly faster, but I'm, like, leaving the guide. All right, now we need 80%, and I don't think we got it. <laughs> yeah, not enough. Oh, dear. That was awfully close. Ah, I do better when there's a pretty girl on the screen. I don't know why. You may now enter the Wingardium Leviosa challenge to practice the spell. Follow me, Mr. Potter. All right. What's funny is the actor who plays Flitwick is uh, Warwick Davis, who also does Grip Hook. Leviosa on that statue, then move it onto that large plate. You know, in the movies. And then uh, he was also Willow. As well as uh, one of the Ewoks. Alright, so this one. Much easier to use the uh, keyboard usually than the mouse, but you can do either one. Well done. Now go and collect the challenge stars. I'll meet you at the end. Good luck, Mr. Potter. Alright. So yeah, Wingardium Leviosa is used to move stuff onto pressure plates, basically. And now we have three spells at our disposal. And you gotta use everything you've learned up to this point. Oh, damn it. <laughs> gotta be careful. No, 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 no. God damn it. Seriously? I hate these things so damn much. Alright, there's one. There we go. Got the other one now. 
lost another six beans to them. Like, fuck you guys. Ah! Alright, there we go. We got a challenge star. Our first. I remember when it would take me, it would take the game like ages to actually save the game. And now it's like the, the save game thing barely even flashes up on screen. I don't know if I actually have this installed on the SSD or the uh, hard drive. But it's not running from the disk, so that might be part of it. You know, much, much faster all around. There we go. Get these beans out of these cauldrons. Come on, missed. Stop that. There we go. Alright, this is probably gonna let another one through. Yep. Damn it. Gotcha. There we go. Didn't have to bother with those guys this time. Alright. Let's go ahead and get that opened. So yeah, you can tell it's pretty easy puzzle solving. There we go. It's like, give me all your beans. Oh, is that it? Okay. I thought there'd be more than that for some reason. Well, it's better than nothing. See, so yeah, I hear you kind of want to stand at specific places. There we go. So there's one. That opens the door. Now we just got to raise the grate. And there is a maximum range to this spell as well. There we go. There's the other one. So now we can uh, collect the next star. There really is nothing else for you, is there? Nope. Well, all right then. Next star, here we come. And we get a peek outside. So we get to see a little bit more of the castle. And this is not even remotely close to where we were flying around with Madame Hooch. Ah, there's a challenge star hiding there. That's good to know. And we have a save book. And another pedestal here. There we go. Alright, perfect. And good, good. Okay. Just a little worried there. Ooh, that's a bad seam. All right. So notice that reflection there. There's actually a really easy way they used to do reflections in games where they would literally just model the geometry that it was trying to reflect just in reverse. Really simple, easy way. Nowadays, you know, there are much better ways to do it, but they are more expensive GPU-wise. However, they are also more accurate. Things like screen space reflection and then now proper raycast uh, reflections as well. You know, ray tracing and everything like that. Alright. I think that's the way forward. I think this is a secret back here. Maybe, maybe not. There's a flipendo switch. Ah, there we go. So that's how you get that challenge star. And then, there's a secret behind here. Now, whether or not that mirror's reflection was, uh, you know, actual mirror geometry or not, I have no idea, honestly. I'd have to break the game in order to figure it out. Because obviously, you know, the reflection disappears. Because you can uh, go behind the mirror. Hello. We got... Uh-oh. There we go. We were clipping through it, apparently. But we got another wizard card. This will be our fourth one. Alright. 
Burdock Muldoon, 1429 to 1490. Chief of Wizards Council, 1448 to 1450. Only two years, really? Wow, okay. But yeah, it, it does well to explore in this game. Alright, and then this one, you pretty much gotta jump for it. Alright. Well, now that we've done that, well, let's go ahead and pop this onto the platform here to get that moving. And this moves in a circular motion, or actually rather a square motion, kind of, you know, diagonal. It's, it's technically more of a diamond than a square, but you gotta do this if you want to get that star over there. And you want those stars for them house points. You gotta get them house points, even though the house points are rigged, but that's neither here nor there. Oh, good, I actually made it. I wasn't sure about that. All right, I think this challenge is almost done. Congratulations, Mr. Potter. Yes, it is. You've completed the challenge. <laughs> You've collected all the challenge stars. 20 points for Gryffindor. Now, off you go. Off you go. Very well, my good man. Uh, oh, I was thinking maybe there was something there. But of course. You have to use the spell one more time in order to actually get out of here because Flitwick doesn't actually open the door for you. In fact, he closes the door behind him. What? Okay, that wasn't what I was expecting to happen. I thought... Oh, is this door just automatic? Yes, indeed it is. All right. Okay. Now we're on the second floor landing. We've got a bunch more stuff. We can explore a little bit more, too. But this game is fairly linear. You know, it takes you from level to level, basically. Harry, don't be late for the herbology lesson. I'm waiting at the entrance to the greenhouse. See you there soon, Hermione. Okay, how do I, how do I get rid of that? There we go. Maybe it's just like a time thing. I don't know. There we go. And let's go up here real quick. Yes, I see you, Mr. Chocolate Frog. I know you're there. I hear you. But we have a mirror on top of a bookcase. And why else would there be a mirror on top of a bookcase except to hide something behind it? There we go. Ooh. With another Chocolate Frog card. And I think I know who this one is. All right. It's on the second page here. Not who I thought it was. Adelbert Waffling, 1899 to 1981. Famous magical theoretician. Okay, I was thinking of a Salazar Slytherin. I thought, like, he was holding a snake, but I was wrong. Uh, so this guy died right around the time that Voldemort died and uh, Harry's parents were killed. You gotta, you gotta remember, Harry Potter was born in 1980. His parents died on Halloween of 1981, and that's when he became the boy who lived. So yes. Surprise indeed. We have Peeves the Poltergeist as a... We have Peeves the Poltergeist as a boss here. Ah, oh, damn it. How do we do this? I don't quite remember. So yeah, I think you gotta wait for him to throw something at you, then throw it back at him with Flipendo. Damn it. Didn't quite work. I don't think you want to be too far away. Nope. This is like the only time in the game that you have actual proper strafing. Because it locks onto your target. Oh, you just hit him with, with Flipendo. Okay. There we go. Well, that's good to know. Yes, you are. This is so much easier now that I know what I'm actually doing. All right, that should be it. And I can get my chocolate frog now, which apparently is actually the only way forward. 
Uh, can I break these vases? Apparently not. Yeah, whenever you try to highlight something, if it's, you know, you can use a spell on it, it will actually light up with a symbol. So there's nothing we can do here then. Let's grab that chocolate frog and get back some of our health. Some of it, not all of it. Hey, Harry, do you have 25 beans for us? Oh, only 25? For some <clears throat> experiments. 25 is not bad at all. We have like way more than that. You found all the beans we needed for now. Here's a wizard card then. Hope you don't have this one yet. I can guarantee you I don't. Thanks for helping us out, Harry. All right. And this one is somebody else new. Not Salazar Slytherin. I can tell the, you that much at least. <laughs> I would be shocked if it actually is. No, this is U Uric the Oddball. Medieval dates unknown. Highly eccentric wizard who is famed, among other things, for wearing a jellyfish for a hat. Ah, you can see. I thought that was blue hair. But no, it's it's a jellyfish that he's wearing for a hat. Alright. Oh, another note from Hedwig. I love how they use her to deliver letters for you. Harry, if you're late for the herbology lesson, Gryffindor can lose house points. Hurry up, Hermione. Oh, it's just space to get rid of it. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, nothing behind there. Which way do I go? I don't think it really matters. But there is a chest down this way. Oh, no. Hey, Potter. Do you like surprises? Malfoy's got a present for you. You better watch your step around here, Potter. Slytherins don't like Gryffindors. Yeah, well, Gryffindors don't like Slytherins. All right, you. There you go. The witch cackles. And gives us a bean. Just give me all your beans, girl. Alright, that's all of them. Okay, so I don't think we can actually go... Yeah, we can't go where Crab and Goyle went. That's fine. There we go, get some more beans there. Uh, before we continue on this way... Yeah, I don't want to go out that way yet. I want to go back the other way and see if there's anything, you know, that way that we can get. Get collectibles and stuff like that. There's some students down this way. Hello, Harry. I'm Neville Longbottom. This is my remember all. It tells you if there's something you've forgotten to do. Oh, it's telling me we have herbology class soon. Oh, that's not how the remember all works. Watch out for Draco Malfoy. I saw him sneaking around here just a moment ago. Way to ruin a great moment from the movie and the book game. So yeah, Neville's supposed to get his remember all, and then it it's supposed to remind him that he's forgotten something. But the problem is he's forgotten what it is he forgot. <laughs> All right, give me all your beans. I guess that's all of them. All right, and nope, nothing behind you. Thought maybe there was, but nope. All right, let's keep going. So obviously when we see a mirror, there's going to be something behind it. So this is a little bit interesting because you got these like stair-stepping ledges and you got to jump back and forth between them in order to climb. I don't remember if this game has fall damage. I know if you fall far enough, Harry will scream. But I don't remember if there's actually fall damage or not. I guess we'll find out soon enough. There we go. Almost didn't make that. There we go. This is probably another magic uh, card. Yep. Another wizard card. And a bunch of beans. Alright, this one is also not Salazar Slytherin. I'm pretty sure he has a card in here somewhere. I'm pretty sure all the Hogwarts founders do. This is Derwent Shimpling, 1912 to present. Ate an entire venomous tentac uh, tentacula on a bet and survived, though is still purple. <laughs> Interesting. So yeah, our uh, folio magi is slowly filling up. 
There we go. I uh, didn't mean to climb there. 